What up, Purr fans? This episode is special because I'm here with my old man. That's him. Just me, bald, and a lot older. <laughs> so we're about to hit up Oregano, new location on University Avenue, see if the food's gotten even better than last time. You know, Oregano, we are, you know, we are Provo. We make ni about 90% of what we serve in the restaurant, we make in-house. We make our own sauces, we make our own meatballs, we make all of our sauces. We know that, you know, you can get great food here in Utah County. You don't have to go over the point to get great food. You know, I'm a cook, that's what I do for a living. I, I cook food. Uh, and so, uh, it's important to me that we have, we have great cooks. Without great cooks, you know, cooks are the soul of the restaurant. Without great cooks, you don't have a, you don't have a great restaurant. You know, I love French food. Uh, I, lo I love the, the beauty and the artistry of it, and I love Italian food as well. Um, you, you know what I, what I love about cooking is the technique. Uh, I love just doing it right every time. You know, whatever whatever the, the cuisine is. But you know, for me, it's about family. It's about uh, coming together, you know, with my family, uh, but also that extension out to our to our uh, to our, our staff. You know, our front of the house staff, our back of the house staff. You know, my, my daughter, my oldest daughter is now old enough to work in the kitchen with me, and so working alongside of her is great. 49%, so 49 cents out of every dollar spent at a local, at a local business is kept here in our community. Uh, when you spend that same dollar at a national brand, only 14 cents of that dollar is kept, kept uh, at a local level. We got the bruschetta here, crispy little pieces of bread, fresh little tomato, and parmesan. The little crustinis, they're awesome because they're hard, but they're not like dry crouton crunch and crumble everywhere. They still got some moisture to them, so it's soft, it's awesome. The bruschetta, it's fantastic. The little tomatoes with the fresh grated Parmesan cheese, it gives you a nice little kick right at the beginning and then it's just got this sweet aftertaste. That's good eggplant. My parents used to grow, grow eggplant, and it's been years since I've had true eggplant parmesan, and this is really done well. Cool story about this steak right here. Not only is it made in-house here at Oregano, but they actually coat the edge and crust it with Coleman chocolate right next door at Case Chocolate. They take their chocolate and crust it. So. It's got this slight herbal taste, uh, smell of chocolate, and we're gonna dive in and see what it's all about. Mm. You guys, I feel like what about Bob right now? Mm. 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 Seriously, the crust on this steak is incredible. It's got that bitter chocolate flavor. It's awesome, and it's all local Provo. You can't beat it. Boy, I'm a cheese fan, and these are good cheeses. Well, it does give you a New York feel to be in downtown Provo with all the sirens. But there's a lot to like about this restaurant, and one of the things I like most is it, it is a local restaurant with local owners. And everything I spend in that restaurant comes back to people here in Provo. It's really a good addition to the downtown Provo food scene. You go in and you have that New York feel, but it's great to be here local. And the food was good, uh, the cheeses were wonderful, and I loved the rolls. So, oregano, take two. Let me tell you, they improved on everything I disliked the first time. First of all, location. It's downtown now. I love this new building. The exposed ceilings, the rustic walls. It's just beautiful. Um, it just made the dining experience really nice. Second thing, rolls. Last time they were super hard and dry and just not very good. I always say you can tell a good Italian restaurant by the way they make their bread. And tonight the rolls were warm, they were soft, you soaked it in the oil and vinegar. It was just like bathing in Italy. And then the last thing was my steak. So steak, usually you go and get it, it's delicious, yeah, you know. 
but it lacks flavor. Here, it packs a punch. They take the chocolate co cacao from Coleman and Taste down the road, bring it in, slather it on that steak, grill it up, and you're just like, each bite is just a little, it's wonderful. So seriously, if you haven't tried oregano, come down, get the steak. If you have, give it a second shot because, man, it was just on fire.